In this video, I want to briefly introduce myself and then also share with you one of my most recent crypto investments that is very risky, but I'm hopeful that it will yield a very aggressive high yield if all goes well. So a little bit about me, I'm your crypto chef on YouTube, and you can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and pretty much all social media platforms as Chef Stacy Rocks. You're probably asking yourself, why do you call yourself Chef Stacy Rocks? Have you got a big ego or something? It's just because I like to rock. What do you wanna do with your life? I wanna rock! So a little about me, I was a professional chef for 22 years and I did really, really well in the culinary industry. Being a chef is very, very hard work and I used to work very long hours I worked in NFL football arenas, convention centers, places that did a lot of volume. So after my long chef career, I decided to go into sales and marketing for the nation's largest food service distribution company. And I did that for 18 years. Now, the whole time I was a chef and the whole time I worked for the nation's largest food service distribution company, I always had some kind of side hustle going on, right? So I consider myself a very entrepreneurial person. I'm also one of these people that discovered I'm late to the party as far as retirement is concerned. So I started investing later in life and I felt really, really behind for planning. Then a couple years ago, I started to hear about this thing called crypto or cryptocurrency. And when I had heard about Bitcoin in the past, it's like, oh, that sounds like, uh, you know, something that you would lose all your money. Because if you're anything like me, did you ever get prospected about some kind of investment opportunity and you decided to sell like all of your US savings bonds or whatever and throw them into this investment opportunity that's very risky and just basically to say goodbye to your money? Yes, I've been through that. Thus, why I was skeptical about crypto. So about two years ago, when I started hearing about Bitcoin and Ethereum and Cardano, and I started to do a little research, I started to get very, very interested. Since I started investing in crypto about two years ago, I've made some really, really amazing gains. And some of those gains and some of those great projects, I can't wait to share with you. One thing to know is I'm not a financial advisor. So I'm making these videos to show you what my journey has been like. Hopefully you will learn something from them. So these videos are for educational purposes only, and I will always recommend that whatever projects you're looking at, that you always do your own research before getting involved. Now, if you stick around to the end of the video, I am going to add some more liquidity to this particular liquidity pool that I got involved in last night so that you can see firsthand a brief tutorial about how I'm going to provide some additional liquidity in the dark crypto finance platform. All right, so if you're ready, let's get into this. Video. Now, definitely one of the things that's risky about investing in liquidity pools is something called impermanent loss. Now, I don't really have time to get into too much detail about what impermanent loss is, but I highly, highly recommend you go to YouTube. There's a great short video about explaining impermanent loss to you that will help you understand what the risk is and it's by a YouTuber named Whiteboard Crypto. So take a look at that. My recommendation to you is don't invest any money you cannot afford to lose. So a lot of what I do is when I make gains on some of my other cryptocurrency investments, $100 here, $50 there, a lot of times I test out these new protocols, which is what I'm doing with this one. Now, one of the things that really caught my attention right out of the gate with this particular protocol is it's on the Kronos blockchain. And if you're not aware about the Kronos ecosystem, Kronos or the crypto.com token has been really been gaining in popularity on the DeFi space. There are a lot of brand new successful projects on the Kronos blockchain that are helping investors make some really good gains. I'm currently invested in a lot of the Kronos blockchain projects. One of the very first projects I got into was called Kronodes. I got in very early, so it's been a very exciting project for me. I am also, I have three different liquidity pools uh, that I'm involved in, in the Mad Meerkat Optimizer uh, site, which is super, super popular right now. If you're really interested in learning more details about Phoenix Finance, I did do my very first ever public YouTube video. And so I highly recommend that you watch that to get more details and, and see how much I invested in that project. And today's project that I'm going to be talking about is the Dark crypto finance protocol. 
And the area that I'm going to be investing in is the dark auto area. And the reason for that is there's auto compounding opportunities in these staking pools. The pool that I'm going to be participating in is promoting a 3.51% daily return on investment. And then the other thing that caught my interest is the fact that in the dark auto system of the dark crypto site is the uh, rewards are auto compounding. And a very famous person named Albert Einstein said that compounding is the eighth greatest wonder of the world. Another great feature about the dark auto auto compounding area is auto compounding occurs every 30 minutes if the pending reward is at least $100. If the pending reward is not at least $100, it will be compounded automatically with a maximum of every four hours. So what is the dark crypto finance ecosystem anyways? Well, the dark crypto protocol is the first ecosystem running around its particular token, DARK or symbol D-A-R-K. And what that is, it's an algorithmic token that's pegged to Crow or the Crypto.com token and the Crypto.com token that's on the Kronos chain. So unlike other algorithmic tokens, DARK is not pegged to a US dollar stable coin, but instead it is pegged to Crow. And the reason why this project team decided to do this is the members of this project believe, as I do as well, in the potential of Kronos or the Crypto.com token and the Kronos ecosystem. The members of this project have chosen to align their mission to both provide value and derive value from the dark crypto finance future growth. This is a very competitive space. But dark crypto finance aims to become the main medium of exchange on the Kronos network. I do want to let you know, though, they do have their work cut out for them as there are some other competitive projects in this space. One of them being Mad Meerkat Finance or the Mad Meerkat Optimizer Vault. All right, so let's get into this project and some details and a tutorial on how you can participate if you choose to. So the vault that I'm going to show you today and add more liquidity to is the, and let me just click staked only right here. It's going to be the V3S VBS liquidity pool. And it is touting a 3.54% daily ROI. It's APY is absolutely insane. And yes, you could say that this is a very risky project. Now, does crypto chef like a little risk? Absolutely. Well, if you hover over this APY area, it kind of gives you a calculator. So if you put a thousand dollars into this staking pool, this liquidity pool, you could make as much as $35 and 44 cents per day. So just ask yourself this question. How would 3544 help you? Would you go out and buy a nice ribeye steak dinner at Texas Roadhouse or something? In a seven day ROI, it's showing $286.65. And then it just goes crazy. 213, looks like 213 million. Now, anything can happen. What's really important here is when you do a liquidity pool, uh, one of the biggest things of risk is called impermanent loss. Probably one of the worst things that could happen in a liquidity pool is if one of the token prices crashes. For the remainder of the video, I'm just gonna show you how I'm going to add another $125 worth into the V3S VBS VShare liquidity pool. And I'm also gonna use the zap in feature, which I thought was really, really super convenient and very easy to use. So last night I put a little bit below a hundred dollars into this and it's currently at 105 but i am willing to go ahead and risk another about 125 dollars to go in here and really the assumption is that i'm not going to take anything out for 365 days am i saying that this is absolutely going to happen absolutely not uh, definitely do your own research all right so let me just show you real quick so one of the cool things i like is the area that i'm in is called dark auto because there's some auto compounding features of these liquidity pools and one of the neat things too is if, if I'm already in one of these liquidity pools, I can just move this lever over here where it says staked only, and it's gonna take me right to where mine is, okay? Another thing you can do, which is kind of cool, is where it says default over here. If you're looking at all of them, 
you can rank these by APY. And so some of these are really insane. They have some brand new staking pools in here, liquidity pools. If you're very selective, uh, you can certainly find one that might work for you. And so the one that I decided to get involved in is the VVS VShare one. And I'm just gonna go right here promoting a 3.54% daily APY. And I like that. There's also some bonus APR involved. Uh, earlier, I put some VVS, I went ahead and bought some VVS on the crypto.com app on my phone. So it was very, very simple. And I sent them to my MetaMask. So on the Kronos network, we can take a look. And uh, when we look for VVS, so 5,219 VVS tokens, it's about $125. But so it's really, really simple when you're using the zap feature, it just, you basically, you just need to have one token. It's going to automatically take that token and split it evenly in half between the two tokens that you want to, uh, you want to provide liquidity for. So what I'm going to do is I do have the VVS token in my MetaMask wallet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit zapping. I'm going to make sure I select VVS right here because this is the token I have in my wallet. It's recognizing how much is in there. If I click max, it's going to use all of the VVS, which is what I want it to do. Now, if this is the first time you're doing this, you're probably going to have to hit approve first before you zap. Now I did that last night. So what I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to hit zap. And then when I hit zap, it's going to prompt me to approve. It does cost a little bit of crow to do this. So I'm gonna hit confirm. All right. So it is currently zapping. It took all my VVS split it in half and it looks like that everything's good it just went through confirmed so now i have v3s vbs vshare liquidity pool tokens so what i can do now is i'll click anywhere outside of here that'll go away now i'm going to click max because now i have the liquidity pool tokens and i'm going to go ahead and deposit the lock timer will reset that's understandable from last night to today so i'm gonna hit continue right it does cost me 10 crow to do this so we went from 105 to 229. So now we're good. That's how easy it is to go ahead and zap, approve your zap, and then go ahead and deposit your liquidity in here. So now I'm at 229.64. If I click this little APY, oh, actually you can click my balance. So now it just boosted up to $8.14 per day or 65.85 for seven days, 4.46.65 for 30 days. I just wanted to show you what this looks like, how easy it is to get in here. I hope you have a great rest of the day.